Meet Maggie May. This 10-year-old Australian Shepherd was named after the Rod Stewart song after being rescued, then adopted by the Hayes family. I bonded with her immediately. I saw her come through the door and it was just, you know, when I found out that she was a rescue, I asked to meet her and she just, I was on the floor. You meet the animals that way and she just, you know, fell all over me. Maggie May has had a doggone hard life, and until now, things were getting harder. She suffers from hip dysplasia in both hips and arthritis in one of her elbows. All right, there. getting up and down, she moans, or she just moans and groans getting up and down. She can't climb stairs. She can't get up on the sofa, and um, she does play, but we play very gently. Maggie May's family tried everything from steroids to acupuncture and nothing worked. They were even considering hip replacement surgery, which can cost five to $10,000. The family was thrilled to hear about a less invasive, less expensive breakthrough treatment involving stem cells. Without stem cells, if we would get injured, uh, we would never heal. So obviously stem cells are pretty critical um, and they are responsible for healing. What we are doing is we are getting a larger concentration of the cells than they would be usually within the joint, and we are injecting them directly into the joint at a higher concentration. Dr. Yasek Dahan is one of the surgeons at Affiliated Veterinary Specialists now trained to perform the stem cell treatment. For more than three years, this treatment's been used on horses with great results. Now it's available for dogs. We are going to obtain about 50 gram sample of the falciform ligament of the belly fat. And you can see it's, there is a lot of it. Today, Dr. Dahan performs stem cell therapy to treat various forms of arthritis, but he thinks that's just the beginning. In the future, we may be able to use stem cell treatment for liver problems, immune-mediated disease, uh, kidney disease, and there were few uh, case reports of dogs with liver disease, for example, being treated with stem cells with good results. Here's how the stem cell treatment works. Dr. Dahan surgically extracted fat from Maggie May's belly. Excellent. The fat was then packaged in a special container and sent to a lab called VetStem in California. There, the stem cells were extracted from the fat and sent back to Dr. Dahan in syringes. The final step involves injecting those concentrated cells directly into Maggie May's damaged joints. Not only is Maggie May benefiting from this cutting edge procedure, but you and I may benefit from it too. One day people may forgo things like hip replacement surgery and opt for the much less invasive stem cell procedure instead. Dogs are a very good model for, for people. Um, so, you know, hopefully in 10 years, from now, we'll be able to use our experiences from treating dogs with stem cells, and we'll be able to use that information for treatment of people. Doctors are already studying the use of stem cells to treat diseases like leukemia in people, but it's a slower process because of the risk and regulation. On the human side, we have to deal with FDA and getting things, new treatments, to get new treatments approved by FDA. It, it, it takes a lot of time, a lot of money and a lot more research than what's required on, on the veterinary side. Maggie May's stem cell therapy costs about $2,500, and for dog owners like Terry Hayes, it's worth every penny. The animals, the people, the things that come into your life, you have a responsibility to care for them. And I just hope it gets easier, and she's friskier and happier, and I think she will be. <laughs>